Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about a ski that needs no introduction. This is the Bonafide 97 from Blizzard. Uh, the Bonafide's been around for a long time. I would say pretty much anybody that is in the advanced expert level category has heard of this ski, is aware of this ski, maybe you've tried it before. You probably know what it's all about. This is hands down, one of the strongest skis on the market. Um, it's pretty interesting, you know, as you go up through, through Blizzard skis that use this construction from Brahma 82 up here to Bonafide 97, the wider they get, they actually feel more powerful and stronger. A lot of that has to do with sheer mass. Um, you lose some edge-to-edge -edge precision and carving precision, but if you're looking just for just crazy amounts of strength, the Bonafide 97 is about as good as it gets. Um, there are some things that make it quite challenging to ski for certain skiers in certain terrain, but boy, what it's designed for, it does really, really well. Um, so looking at construction in this ski, we get a true blend wood core. So that's Blizzard's way of kind of laminating denser wood along with lighter wood to control the flex pattern in the ski, and it actually changes per length, so they're able to kind of retain the feel that they want throughout the whole, the whole line of ski or, or the whole collection in, in terms of different, different lengths. Um, so True Blend Wood Core, we get two sheets of metal, two full length sheets of metal, a little bit of an extra layer underfoot as well. Um, we get carbon fiber in this ski, and then we get some rubber too. So, See, I think we have the 177 centimeter length here. Could be wrong. No, we got the 183. So this is a this is a fun ski to take a look at in this length. 97 underfoot, 183 in length, 2260 grams. So it is a heavy ski. You know, there's though you don't need to kind of beat around the bush with that or or hide it. This is a heavy strong, powerful ski. That is one of the heaviest skis that you will see in, in a similar length and a similar width. You know, it doesn't, you don't really see much getting above that. Um, it's kind of reflected in the flex pattern too. Just so strong, just such a strong, stable flex pattern. Um, and then, you know, with a ski that's built like that, you'd probably expect the shape to kind of follow the same trend. So a lot of camber in this ski, you know, there's not too much rocker to speak of, especially if you compare it to other skis kind of hovering around 100 underfoot, you typically see a little bit more rocker. So a tip rocker is about that long. Um, there's really not much splay at all. In fact, until you decamber it, it kind of looks like there's only that much tip rocker. When you do decamber it, you get a little bit more rise there, um, and really not much, not much rocker in the tail whatsoever. Um, so, what's this ski good good at? It is good at skiing fast and aggressively through basically anything. Um, it has a, by far it has enough torsional stiffness to hold an edge on firm snow, which, as you probably know the wider you get, the less torsionally stiff a ski is going to be, just based on physics and how skis work. But at 97, this thing's edge grip is off the charts. So you can ski it on a firm, firm groomer day. You know, here in Stowe, we get a lot of firm days. We get a good amount of snow as well, but we get some thaw and refreeze cycles. And you can literally be out there on boilerplate and this is a ski you can trust 100% of the time. Um, as things get choppy, you know, if you have some, maybe you had some snow a few days ago, and now it's tracked out and bumpy, um, this ski handles that stuff really well too. It stays so composed, it doesn't get deflected ever, it tracks unbelievably well, and it, it really does allow you to continue to make just beautifully clean, round carving turns through anything, which is really cool. Um, it is even wide enough that 
maybe it's snowing, you know, maybe you actually are on like a little bit of a powder day. Six inches of snow, it's gonna blast right through it. Um, comparing it to something like the Brahma 82, that ski is very strong as well, same build, but being narrower, it's gonna get a little bit more bogged down. So if you want the strength, you want that carving performance, but you want the ski to be able to do that through any snow condition, the Bonafide 97 is an awesome, awesome choice. Now, because it's heavy, because it's pretty stiff, it is more challenging to ski if you're taking it into technical terrain, off-piste, ungroomed trails, like say here in Stowe, if you're skiing down Star and Goat and like all those famous front four trails, the Bonafide 97, it's gonna require some work. It's gonna require a pretty good skier with good technique to kinda make it do the things that you want it to do. Um, I'd say if you're, uh, if you're an intermediate or even like a less aggressive advanced skier and you get on it and you try and do those things, it could beat you up a little bit. Um, but that's okay because Blizzard has other skis like the Rustler 9, Rustler 10. Now we've got the Hustle skis from Blizzard as well. So they make plenty of skis that are going to be a lot easier in those situations. The Bonafide is really for those aggressive, advanced, and expert level skiers. You don't need to sugarcoat it at all. That's what it's built for. That's what it's designed for. And really that's who should be choosing it. And even among those skiers, you should at least be aware of kind of what you're getting yourself into. It should be a, a purposeful choice, not a ski that you just happen upon. And then you're like, oh, I have a Bonafide 97. You should be looking for a big, strong, powerful ski if you're considering the Bonafide 97. It is one of the best in its category by far when you're looking at strength and edge grip and all that stuff but it does come with maybe not some limitations, but some challenges for anyone. And those challenges are going to be just further exaggerated for those less aggressive and those intermediate skiers. So really just a missile and an awesome tool for people that like to ski fast and aggressively. Um, I'm glad it's still here. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a challenging ski for a lot of people but it's really cool to have skis like this on the market and it would be very disappointing if the ski went away someday. So kudos to Blizzard for making one of the strongest skis on the market. Let us know if you have any questions about it. If you're unsure if it's right for you, we're more than happy to help. Um, yeah, super fun ski and we'll see you out there on the hill.